Good day everyone. I am Aisha Siddika. My faculty advisor is Dr. Alam from Chemistry. The title of my presentation is Cytotoxic Effects of Cancer Compound on Human Embryonic Kidney Cells. The second slide shows the details of my poster presentation which I am going to talk next. Let me give you some background and significance of my study. Cytotoxicity is a widely used indicator for determining the effectiveness of chemical compounds and cell-based assays are often used for screening the compounds. It is important to know how many viable cells remains at the end of the experiment so the proper compound and their dose level can be determined. The main objective of my study is to assess cytotoxic effects of selected active compounds developed in Dr. Alum's lab and their concentration on human embryonic kidney cells. Some researchers around the group perform similar studies with different cells and compounds. For example, Prashad et al. studied several novel N10 substituted acridone derivatives bearing alkaline side chain with tertiary amine group against hex cells. Hamilton et al. studied cytotoxic effect of fascaplicin against small lung cancer cell line and found it to be suitable for treatment based on high cytotox activity. In terms of materials, we consider four compounds with different concentrations and tamoxifen as the control drug. We used HEC 2093 cell line. The compounds are antibiotics A4, Bromo, Cumarin and A30 on CF3 Cumarin with concentration of 25 and 50 microgram per ml and anti-cancer compound R21 methoxy thiazole ethysterone and R23 pyridine thiazole ethysterone with a concentration from 100 to 3.125 microgram per ml. Our experimental setup was in vitro cytotoxicity that consisted of four major steps. Plating cells on day one adding compound on day 2, risazurine assay on day 3, which was followed by analysis on the same day. The analysis are done by using a citation 5 cell imaging reader. Now results. The average and standard deviation of three triplets are shown in the bar charts. For antibiotics, A30 on is less toxic than A4. The higher concentration of A31 is less toxic. A31 is even better than tamoxifen, but A4 had a complete toxicity. For antimelanoma compounds based on the half maximal inhibitory concentration, R21 is more toxic than R23. Based on the experimental result, we conclude that results are promising. Chemical compound A31 with a concentration of 50 microgram per ml is better. Between anti-melanoma compounds, R23 is a better choice. However, more cells to be tested to support findings. I would like to thank A State, ABI, ORTT for giving me the opportunity to conduct the study and deliver this presentation. Also, thanks to my advisor, Dr. Alum and Mr. Stephen Chambers for helping me with conduct these experiments. I have provided details of cited reference, Prashad Atal and Hamilton Atal. Thank you all and have a wonderful day.